Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like cobblestone Oh, oh. Why did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed? Know that she'd leave Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? Whoa Why did she go? I met her back in 2005 It was her crooked little smile that caught my eye Time went by and it was her Good and morning I folks, welcome along to the vlog today is the day after the fallout yesterday where all pubs, restaurants, cafes and bars in the UK were closed down by the government and that means that we have to go into the pub and do an official shutdown, move the whole thing into suspended animation, hibernation, whatever you want to call it. We have to look at the rules and regulations of uh, what we do with our staff uh, it appears that if they are to claim 80% of their wages they're not allowed to come into work therefore we won't be able to do things such as ramping up um, bottle supply, mini keg supply, that kind of stuff because it would invalidate their claim frankly so uh, we are literally down to just the directors allowed to come into work uh, and not the staff, so that's a problem because they, they're not going to get paid if they come into work because we won't have the customers through the door and they won't be able to claim anything so they are literally laid off with 80% pay uh, until further notice, we don't know when it's going to end of course um, so what we're going to do is go down there we're going to put what stock we can out of the kitchen into deep freeze and consume the rest I imagine and uh, then we're going to close everything down and as we do that you'll see uh, the backlash of this decision um, as we can talk about various other industries that are going to be affected directly by the closure of the pubs in the UK for example our suppliers so let's get ready and uh, yeah, nip down to the brew shed maybe for the last time in a while. Yeah. So, so Thomas said, so I expected me to be, uh, to be full of life when I got here. <laughs> right, so all this needs taking off and tipping away. Is that bitter? Full? Yeah. Oh, well, that's wasted. Um, this is a poignant moment. There we go. Shutting them down, boys. Shutting them down. Silence in the cellar. And we may as well shut the post mix down as well. Well, we'll do that after we've had breakfast. We might want to drink. So what we have to do is disconnect all these beer lines. We have to clean the lines. And then we have to run air or CO2 through the lines to leave them dry so that there's no areas for bacteria to take hold. Same with all of this, all these, I can just take these home and drink them at will, but they all need flushing and running dry. 
Yeah, some of this beer will survive, some of it won't, depending on when we reopen. So I've got a lot to drink, haven't I really? But it's totally wiped out our stock now. Most of it, most of it will be no good. Unfortunately. So, you've got to think, the repercussions of this closure of the virus, not the closure, is that Stuart, myself and Gemma now don't have an income. We can't claim the 80%. We are now jobless. So we have to live on basically the takings that we took from the pub and uh, like the past couple of days. And yeah, maybe the VAT, because I won't be paying that. And of course the, the rent still needs paying though. And then the knock-on effect is that the guys who supply us with this beer, not just Harrison's Brewery, but the other ones, they're no longer going to be uh, in business because nobody's going to be buying beer. The man who delivers cellar gas, he's going to be out of a job because, of course, nobody's going to need cellar gas anymore. So this whole thing has a massive knock-on effect to several several other industries. Looks like it's sausages all around boys. Doomsday sausage. Sausage and bacon. Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's hot. I can see this one surviving the uh, onslaught of Corona. Last of the sausages, last of the bacon, last of the black pudding, last of the bread buns. So we've closed everything down folks. We need to now pull all of this rinse water out of the uh, anti fobs because we're going to flush the lines with air to prevent any bacterial infections taking hold in our absence we'll turn off the post mix machine and that will be all she wrote Leave it all behind The river's gonna cry when you're gone 